So a couple years back, my wife, who was in charge of PTA, was doing this fall fest and said, hey, you want to help out? We're going to take some pumpkins and we're going to throw them off of a ladder. And I was like, pumpkins off a ladder. Sounds pretty boring. Why don't you guys build a catapult? And she goes, why don't you build a catapult? So I decided to build what's called a trebuchet. In this video, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of what that looks like and how that works. And uh, check it out and check out the designs here coming up in a bit. Thanks. All right, now we've finished with a quick walkthrough of what we've built. So this guy, I'll start with the base frame. The base frame is these eight foot long two by fours. On the inside, you can't see it, it's under the base plate, but we have a 22 inch and then 30 inch on the outside. For the riser, we got eight foot, sorry, this is actually six foot high. I believe these are about uh, 65 or six and a half feet on the inside. Those are uh, braced here. Um, we do use wheels, and the wheels help dissipate the energy going forward and backwards. So you can see these wheels, they're just in there with carriage bolts. Coming back to the firing mechanism first. So this is some eyelets, and then we have a bolt that's within the eyelets, and that's connected, there's a washer in that, and that's connected up to this, this steel cable. And then for the launching mechanism itself, we have this L bracket and a washer. Um, this is sort of a washer, and that's connected to the, uh, the firing cable. The arm itself is two 10 foot long uh, two by fours that are they're actually glued and screwed together. And then up here, we have a one inch pipe that's threaded in one end. It's actually threaded in here, so it won't move. And then we have PVC on the outside of it. We do bracing here just you know, from a standpoint of helping keep it centered and leveled um, and also take some additional weight off of it. And then on the throwing arm itself, um, we have the drop connected. This is an inch and a half pipe from Home Depot. I believe it's about a foot, foot long, threaded at both ends. Um, works perfect with plates. Uh, I think this year we did about 180 pounds on there when we were testing it out. And then up top, it's connected via a carriage bolt. So everything comes down pretty smoothly on this. And coming down here, that base plate, we have this, uh, we we'll call it whiteboard, we've got from Home Depot. And then the, uh, this is a um, vinyl bag we had, put some grommets in it and connect that via peri cord to the cable itself. The other thing's nice, if you do have one of these medicine balls, um, they're really good for testing things out. Five pound, eight pound, 10 pound. So, and the last thing, this is something new we did this year, but building a, uh, I call it a loader, but it's, my friend had one of these for weights in his garage. But it's really good for having the weights in the exact specific spot when you try to load it onto the trochet. So that's the build for this year. If you have questions, post them in the comment below. Ha, ha, ha. 